I always loved creating blue eye makeup look but this time I created one with winged eyeliner and I really wish blue eyeliner should make its comeback. Hi my beautiful lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then hi my name is Aparna. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are going to be doing a glam makeup look using gold and blue with muted cool lips and you can wear this to any kind of special events like wedding guests if you are attending one because it's a season of wedding across the world so i'm sure you would be attending quite a few in this coming months and this look would be perfect if you love a pop of color on your eyes so if you would like to see how to get this look then please keep watching So first things first, I'm doing a little skin prep. So I'm grabbing my Mario Batascu Lavender Spray and I'm spraying this all over my face to add a beautiful glow and hydration. And it also acts as a really good toner. And yes, I have put rollers on to my hair, to my like front bang section to give some body to my hair. And when I face frame it, it doesn't look too flat. And then I moisturize my lips before taking Emberly's Lead Cream Concentrate and I'm dotting this onto the main areas of my face. And I'm spreading that all over to moisturize and hydrate and prep my skin for the makeup. And this moisturizer slash primer can replace so many other skincare products because the hydration works on my skin for hours and I don't need any kind of reapplication, I kid you not. And then for primer, I'm taking Rodial Instant Filler and I'm taking about a pea size on back of my hand. And then I dotted this wherever I have like pores. And then I pat and smooth it over to fill in any pores and prepare a smooth and nice canvas for the makeup. And I'm patting this under my eyes as well to kind of prep them to make my concealer last longer. And it has this very relaxing scent to it. It's like sandalwood. I'm totally obsessed. And then I'm grabbing my MAC Fix Plus Bronze Light Spray and I'm spraying this all over my face to basically give my face a bronzy finish. And this spray has golden bronzy sparkles in it. So it is perfect to prep my skin without adding any extra base cream products. And you can see that I'm literally drenching my face because it feels so fresh and also acts as a really tacky base. And then I'm taking my lavender spray again and I'm spraying this on top to give an extra glow. And please don't mind me, I like sprays and I love to layer them because sometimes I feel really lazy to apply extra creams. And also sprays like this kind of makes your foundation, not only foundation but overall makeup last longer. And then I'm taking my rollers off while all the skin prep soak in in my skin. And I have done a detailed video on how to put rollers on your head to get that blow dried bouncy effect look and i link that video at the end screen in case if you want to see it and then i'm clipping all my hair back and also i put on these sticky tapes on either sides of my eyes to act as a bit of a guide before grabbing this gorgeous cat Von d super pomade pigment in the shade roxy purple and i'm creating an elongated thick long wing starting from the inner corner to the outer and because of the tapes it will be easy for me to create a wing without doing any mistakes because it is a color liner and sets super quickly so you don't want any kind of mistakes and then grabbing this bright shimmery royal blue eyeshadow called d4 from anastasia beverly hills norvina palette and i'm packing that color right on top of that purple eyeliner of course before it sets dry and when you mix bright purple and royal blue together you will get a bright vibrant blue shade that looks absolutely gorgeous and also that's the color i want to get because my dress is super vibrant blue and then i did the exact same thing to the other eye as well and peeled off the sticky tapes and made sure both wings are looking as similar as possible before taking these three shades together from ofra and i'm running this along my crease as a transition color and you have to pick very light-handedly because I need a very light layer of warmth there and that's it. And also I don't want it to be too deep. And then grabbing Makeup Forever Starlit Diamond Powder in the shade Golden, which is a beautiful gold loose glitter and I'm packing that onto my eyelids. And this glitter is super sparkly and I have fallouts. So make sure you press the glitter or not sweep it because all the glitter will fall onto your under eyes. 
and then taking urban decay heavy metals glitter liner in the shade midnight cowboy and i'm applying that all over my eyelids on top of that loose glitter and it acts as a very good glitter topper and makes your eyes really pop and you don't have to use this much glitter like i did but i want my eyes to be super super sparkly and also this glitter liner makes the loose glitter secure and makes it shine through without falling out but you have to wait until it fully dries before opening your eyes if not all the glitter will stick onto the crease and brow bones which is definitely not the look we want and then taking l'oreal paris matte signature liquid liner in the shade blue and i'm running that along my upper lash line all over the blue winged eyeliner and i'm using this because i feel like there's gold sparkles everywhere on my wing and then grabbing these three colors again and i'm running that along my crease one last time and i'm deepening up it little more not too much to add a bit of a transition if not the whole eye look looks flat and unbalanced then taking sephora magnetic blue eyeliner and i'm tight lining my lower water lines and also very slightly dragging that along my lower lash lines and i'm shook to my core how beautiful this eyeliner looks and feels and it runs very very smoothly it is waterproof and doesn't transfer and then grabbing these three colors and i'm diffusing the lower lash lines out to make sure there is no any kind of blob of blue there and also there are no any kind of clumpy harsh lines as well then taking queen dragon wax eyeliner in the shade black and i'm tight lining my upper water lines and also running that along my low water lines this thick black eye pencil is extremely pigmented and stays for a really really long time and then for mascara i'm taking my stila huge extreme lash mascara and i'm going to town and applying tons of mascara onto my upper lashes so to get a very natural look you can go for minimal coats but to get a falsies like voluminous lashes you should go for so many extra coats if not you can simply wear falsies now coming back to my face i'm taking mac burrow coco strobe face glaze and i'm taking about a generous amount of that on back of my hand and i'm dotting this all over my face and don't worry it looks super scary right now but it just melts into your skin when you apply it so as you can see here this is a very translucent high shine glossy base illuminator and gives you the dewiest flushed glow ever and this one is applied best over bare skin like i'm doing right here but it's workable over foundation as well and then for foundation i'm using my anastasia beverly hills stick foundation in the shade banana and i'm drawing random lines on my face and i'm also taking fenty beauty matte sticks in the shade wheat and i'm drawing that onto my face as well and if you're following me for a while then you probably know that I'm kind of a person who mix and match the foundation to get the right shade. So that's why I'm mixing light and medium shades together. And then I'm buffing everything out with a foundation stippling brush from Real Techniques. An ABH stick is a little bit hard to blend as it is a very thick formula. And also if you have dry skin, then I don't think these stick foundations are for you. And then taking IT Cosmetics Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm doubling up the coverage wherever I felt like it needed and also under my eyes because this is a super glam look and I want my skin to look super flawless and covered. And also if you are using this concealer, you only need a tiniest amount of concealer because a little goes a very, very long way. And you can see for yourself that it covered everything on my face but doesn't look cakey at all. And I'm using a damp beauty sponge to blend everything out evenly and seamlessly. And then taking Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation in the shade Medium Sand. And I'm applying this powder all over my face with a big fluffy powder brush from Eco Tools. And this powder is a shade darker than my actual skin tone so it perfectly evens out my skin and look flawless while putting everything in place so that's why i used a lighter shade concealer to double the coverage on top of my foundation and then grabbing these three shades again and i'm using these to contour the perimeters of my face and also to sculpt 
and give some structure to my overall facial shape. So I'm applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, the perimeters of my forehead and my jawline. Here, the mixture of warm and cool tones contour complements the blue eye makeup beautifully without making everything look too much or too artificially contoured. But you have to build up the contour, like you have to work layer by layer, but not with too much powder at one go, cause it looks super dirty and also very hard to blend later on. And before I forget, I'm going to contour my nose and lips as well. Before grabbing this blush shade right here called Raisin from the same Ofra palette, and I'm applying that onto the apples of my cheeks. And again, this blush is also with cooler undertone. So it goes with the overall makeup very beautifully. Just imagine how you would look with hot pink blush. Crazy, right? So keep your base simple while doing glam looks. And then taking a loose setting powder. And this is in the shade Banana. And I'm baking under the cheek contour to make my cheeks look sharp. And I'm also using this powder to set my under eyes. And then grabbing Urban Decay Brow Beater Pencil in the shade Dark Drapes. And first I'm brushing through my brows to see the shape and where I have to fill. And then with the pencil side, I'm only filling in the areas where I have sparse areas. And then again, I'm brushing them through with spoolie to brush away the extra pigment and make the brows look natural and soft and i'm doing the exact same thing to the other eyebrow as well and just like base you have to draw your eyebrows simple after all your brows shouldn't look like centipede in a box if that makes sense and then i'm checking if my brows are looking as neat as i wanted and then grabbing the same stila mascara and applying another storm of coats onto my upper lashes and this second coat makes the lashes even more voluminous thicker and fuller and gives you that false eyelashes effect without actually wearing them and this time around i'm going to apply the mascara onto my lower lashes as well to complete the whole eye look and make everything look balanced and then i'm brushing and blending that extra powder into my skin and you can see that it made my cheekbones look sharp and neat and then taking mac bronze red spray and i'm spraying this all over my face to set everything and i'm not spraying this too close to my face as this can ruin my mascara or even my eye makeup so i'm spraying this onto my face and then pushed the water into my skin to remove any extra powderiness and then taking these two highlighters from Ofra, and I'm applying this on to my cheekbones but they are not as pigmented as I thought they would be and then I realized I didn't dampen my sponge so I did that and then I applied those highlighters together on tops of my cheeks and you can see the magic there and I forgot to mention that these highlighters are in the shades blissful and rodeo drive and this whole palette is really amazing like it's kind of a all-in-one face and eye palette you have bronzer you have eyeshadows both matte and shimmer you have blush you have highlighters and you guys saw that for the majority of the makeup i use this palette and yeah before i forget i'm going to apply the same highlighter onto my brow bone as well and then i took my hair clips off and just styled my hair in the way i wanted it to be and then for lipstick i'm taking anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in the shade sepia and i'm applying this all over my lips and because of the eyes are being super colorful and bright i have decided to mute down the lips so I chose this cool toned brown shade to complement the eyes and it did complement the eyes and whole look beautifully and it also matched the shadows on my face if you know what i mean and this is the look without any jewelry you can wear this to clubbing birthday evening parties etc and if you are wearing this to a festival or wedding or any indian occasions you can give this look a desi touch by applying a royal blue bindi and also a simple jewelry i'm going with this beautiful mang thikka and it looks absolutely gorgeous than earrings and necklaces so that you guys is the makeup look complete thank you so so much everyone for watching i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this indian festive slash party slash wedding guest makeup look Please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video and the button is just right here on the screen and also like this video if you do and I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!